All right. Well, we have James Joseph Hunter who robbed us with six drugged meats. How long did you last, James? I kind of already know, but oh, <laughs> wow. Really? Did that actually just happen? Alfred Mark Hogan also robbed us, but literally just died. So it didn't really add that much. But uh, James, really? Did, did you just walk forward and then die? Okay. And then you came back. One, two, three, four. You saw him there. You could have thrown the drugged meat. <sighs> Mind you, there was nothing much he could do. So, uh, yeah. Well de done there, Yanto. Another kill for you. Let's head back to our house. So we've got 1,813. We're actually getting close to the point where people are really going to start bringing in tools. But thankfully, most of our walls are now more or less impregnable fortresses. Uh, I'm thinking we should actually to place a little bit more. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that down all the way. That should uh, discourage people from trying to just burrow out through the wall there. Not that that would help them, considering it would cut power and thus lock everything again. Um, so, really it doesn't matter too much for there, I suppose. Actually, yeah, given that, I'll just put it there because I don't really want them just burrowing through that easily. I don't want them burrowing through anywhere, really. Nowhere is good for people to be able to burrow. Perhaps I should reinforce this outside wall. Yeah, I probably should. But uh, for now, we'll just leave that little bit there. Maybe. No, no, we will actually spend some money. Spend a decent bit of cash on reinforcing that wall all the way down to here. And on that note, we'll actually reinforce this one as well. There we go. So we're, we're going to be taking ourselves down to 1.3k. That seems a reasonable amount. Not many people will be interested in taking serious tools into a 1.3k house. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Ho ho! I spotted you this time. Okay. Right. Come on then, Yanto. I'm still frightened. Every time I go through here, I get frightened. I think it's the music. It plays with my emotions. Bloody music. But we should be safe. And straight down and out. Yay! Okay, so revalidated at 1.3k. So we're down here now. We're around there somewhere. Not that that will help. <laughs> William Cameron Williams is still there, bless him. But uh, yeah, not that it will help anyone find me, because by the time this goes up, everything will be different. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to fade out there now, and hopefully when we return, some more videotapes, maybe some more robbery even. I might, uh, once, now I've got, actually got quite a lot of the place reinforced, I may actually start putting some money into some robbery tools, taking them out and trying to crack some houses, maybe taking five saws myself and seeing what I can do. But uh, that is it for this section of the video, so I shall see you hopefully in a couple of minutes. Well, here we are again. We've now got a bit more money. It really didn't take long, about five minutes. So we're back up to two grand. That's a reasonable amount of cash to invest in fortifications. Uh, yeah, I, I would really like to have most of this be concrete before I, I start messing around. So that said, let's have a look down here. I don't want them to be able to burrow their way out of there, but there's not much I can do about that since the power has to come from that direction. Yeah, there isn't really much I can do about it. But if they came up there, they'd be uh, facing your lot anyway, so there's not much they would be able to do, and they can't easily burrow out of this side. I've seen very few people show up with cutting tools. They seem to assume you're going to go straight for concrete and then not bother about anything else. But uh, that said, we'll just reinforce that corner there just so you can't easily just dig through. Um, down here, we could possibly have some sort of trap, but... I wonder if it's necessary. I mean, we could power it from here, have the power traveling across and then up. So you have to step there and then shut that door and then you're, you're locked in. That's certainly an option. But for now, I'm actually kind of happy with what we've got. So why don't we buy a couple of tools? Oh, we've got the six drug meat. Yes, move them all there. That is pretty good. What else have we got? Um... I'm not going to buy a bloody crowbar, but I will buy a couple of these. Let's put £600 into door stops. 
For the sake, you can easily incapacitate a cat or a chihuahua with a brick. So let's put 300 quid into that as well. In fact, let's put 600 quid into that. That is a decent set of uh, tools there. I mean, I could spend money on the on the clubs instead of the door stops, but I'm not a killer. I mean, well, with that said, I picked up a brick. But I, I, you know, a chihuahua would appreciate being put out of its misery. A cat, not so much, but uh, maybe I could just wind it, hit it in the side, just knock it over. I wouldn't throw it very hard, just hard enough to uh, give it pause for thought. But the club, come on. If you've got to wallop something with a club, you've got to be ready for to crack its skull so no no to that i am afraid but everything else seems okay me well i'm gonna save up a little bit more money actually let a couple more people try to rob me and take a wealth of saws into the next building i go into maybe from now on i'll let money build up and then i'll just take loads of saws with me out into the next place i rob so i can burrow through walls in much the same way that one person did to me so with that done, we need to revalidate the trap and then I will check out that security tape. So let's get this done. One day I'll actually set uh, Misty up to do something. Like once people are satisfied that Misty doesn't do anything, I'll actually have Misty do something really, really ingenious. Activate some sort of devilish trap. Not that this isn't already a devilish trap. Now then, let's check you out, Francis Scott Butler. How did you die? Again, you came in, you were just scouting. But you had 1,050 bounty. I'm not sure how the bounties are calculated anymore. Okay, you've decided not to go that way. Fair enough. And you've decided to pop in. Okay, not up there. Fair enough. And there you go, Pixel. Not liking. Really don't like the... Ah, uh, you're doomed. Hang yourself as well. Oh, that's terrible. I feel bad. I made you hang yourself. You could have at least fed one of my dogs, you selfish git. Uh, okay, then. And again, Nathaniel Daniel Yates has already been here. Have you been here before that, Nathaniel? Are you just hunting around for people around the uh, 1,000 to 2,000 mark? It would appear so. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to fade out here. Wow. The, so far, in terms of footage, this video hasn't even crested 10 minutes yet, and already we've been quite successful. The day is opening up rather well, I must say. Well, here we are again. We have a lot more money once more. Now, one of the things that uh, I hadn't actually realized previously, some of these things are, are new, um, all of the bottled water is new, is that when I bought all of these things, the balance that was showing over there hadn't yet included the money that I'd spent on the walls. As a result, my house is only worth 600. So it's been about two hours now since the, the last time I was recording because just no one was trying. I mean, no one was even trying. Not that they were coming in and then leaving. Most of them were doing that, but generally no one was even trying. So uh, I did go out and rob a house. Unfortunately, it was uh, Mr. Williams once again. His house became quite valuable. So I uh, took a little bit of money out of that. Only a, only a thousand. Uh, it was about 2,200 or something around those lines. I ended up with 1,000 and a bunch of bottled waters. Now, I'm, hmm, I'm torn. I'm torn whether to leave this money there. 3,000 is an awful lot. That will attract some fairly powerful people, I would imagine. So I'm thinking we should possibly invest in some more dogs. I think this is the, the most logical thing to do because dogs are almost like guarantees. If someone manages to rob you having killed one or two of your dogs and the dogs that you bought, like some people actually make little caged in areas, the, the dogs can't do anything at all. They just fill it with dogs so that they can replace theirs. I am not going to do that, obviously, because my dogs are my pets. But we are going to be adding some. Now, this one over here, this is going to be... Hmm, Molly and this one is going to be Mary and this one is going to be Lucy there we go that's the, I'm, I'm pretty much on the edge of, of not having any more dog names that I can grasp from uh, my childhood we'll have to resort to naming them the names of the other pets because there are no rabbits in this so I can safely use up all of the rabbit names and there are several well I, I don't know in the time that uh, I was living with my parents, they had several hundred. 
And I'm not joking, and I'm not talking about over time. And they weren't that bad at keeping them. They kept dying. No, they had several hundred. So, uh, yes. So, Molly, Mary, and Lucy. There we go. And uh, that has brought our that will bring our money down a fair bit, and uh, I'll feel comfortable leaving the house again. Before I go, though, I'm going to move most, in fact, all of this stuff into my inventory. Now, the reason I'm doing this is whilst it's in my vault, someone can steal it. When it's in my inventory, no one can steal it. It doesn't really add any value to my vault, I think, if, if it's not in there, um, or, or it's in there. So I, I don't really feel that this is a bad thing, taking them all with me. I'm just not going to use them. But eventually, I'll have a massive store of saws as well, and it'll be, it'll be pretty good. If I do accidentally rob someone, well... <laughs> they'll have a bit of Christmas present because I'm carrying around a lot of money's worth of tools here. But uh, let me just double check. I haven't really changed any of the wiring, so we should be good. Let's see if I can avoid killing myself. In fact, let me just open that door. And then we're going to check out the video. There we go. Come on then, Yanto. Try not to kill me if you can possibly resist. I would be deeply, deeply thankful. There we go. And out. Now, let's check out our security tape. Terence R. Hutchinson, with $1,550 worth in 27 turns. So, he didn't survive very long. Ah, there we are. Three bricks, three dog meats, and three... How did you die, then? Let's see, where did you go? Did you perhaps die down there? Maybe. No. Oh, you're checking things out. There we are. You're now in trouble. You're going to put them to sleep? Yes. Oh, of course. You can't do anything. Even though they were asleep, he could he could put it to sleep, but he wouldn't actually be able to get past. So he was actually completely blocked off. Well, you see, as nice as it is to only bring dog meat, I think you kind of need to go around with clubs, even if it's just to club the dogs that you have put to sleep in order to get past them. It's quite sad to say, but uh, I think you are going to need clubs, really. Certainly to get through my house, you're going to need them, if if you've uh, allowed uh, Yanto out. Your law, you can just put to sleep and leave there, but uh, Yanto, unfortunately, will bar the way. As will most of the dogs further down, but uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how our house is slowly shaping up. I'm not going to go back there, because if I go back, I'll put all of my things in the safe and I'll have to take them all out again. Oh, actually, I'll show you. Oh, my house is being robbed. Apparently, I won't. We'll wait. We'll give it a few moments. Maybe someone will die. Maybe they'll be worth a lot of money. Or maybe they're just dancing back and forth, waiting to see if Yanto will be let out of his cage. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Unless they went in there with a lot of tools. In which case, happy days for me, because they probably have already committed to the trap and will thus give me all of those tools or and... Probably their very high bounty once they die. My lord, you really are taking your time. Hmm. I may just uh, cut out the waiting and return you once we can get back into the house. Well, no sooner that someone has died, but uh, someone else is in there. So at least we can have a look at this. Oh my goodness. We've got a lot of money's worth waiting in there for us. See where you go. In fact, I'm paranoid because that's a lot of money. Ha ah, ha! We're, we're, we're in. Thank goodness. And everything is still there. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, spend my time watching the, the videotape when uh, <laughs> everything could still be robbed. So let's move all of this into my inventory. Now we've actually got some clubs and some saws. Ah, we're developing quite a healthy amount of uh, house-breaking tools here. We could probably get through quite a lot of stuff, though I would still like a lot more saws. But uh, let's have a quick gander at the videotapes, shall we? Oh, wait. Done? Can I not check out the videotapes? Yes, done. Okay. There we go. I can check tapes. Right, so Richard, Je uh, Richard Jeffrey Vick dropped off quite a few items. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit, and we'll see what you do. You spend a lot of time trying to uh, ponder your escape. Okay, so... You have now broken this. You've actually broken it. You're not going to be able to solve it. By using his water to break the 
Oh, and you've locked yourself in. And you can get out. Oh no, you've cut the power. But now you're locked in again. You'll just break it and get out again. I imagine. There we go. Clever boy, but you have prevented yourself from solving this because without this, power isn't being transferred. Oh, and you clever my dog. You bugger. Now, he probably thinks that my family is dead since there's uh, no one around there. Oh no, power is still being transferred. Hmm. I should address that. I should move one of the, the powered walls. Because currently, he may have just s switched it back on, but, um... Hmm. That is interesting. I need that the, the power to be coming from the grate, so by breaking the grate, you can't solve the trap, because currently he can. And he's turned it back on again. If he were to turn that off once more, then it would prevent him from going elsewhere. Okay, what's he trying to do? He's hunting around trying to figure out how to do this. He's already used up quite a lot of his money. Let's speed this up, because he's taking a long time. He's just chasing my cat around. Okay, what are you going to do now? Oh, really? You threw yourself into the pit? Did you just not realize? Did you... Were you confused? I think he must have been. What a derp. You took 445 turns to do that. It was still solvable. You could happily have robbed me. Shane Gary Rusk. I don't know why he threw himself... Oh my goodness. Look at this. Why he threw himself into that pit. Seems a bit crazy to me. Oh, he shut down the power, but... He can't get there still. Oh, he's turned the power on there. That works. That isn't open. Okay, he's probably having a look around now. Power's on. And he's knocked out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yanto got you in the end. You did have the means to stop him, but you didn't. Very well. Oh, I'm being robbed. But clearly that has illustrated there is a flaw in my uh, house. So I'm going to continue trying to get back into my house now. Because, uh, yeah probably going to be a while and I will return you when I actually manage to get in so hopefully see you in a moment okay here we are I think whoever did try to rob me is probably left at this point now this has illustrated a problem in my plan and I need to address this how I'm going to do that I don't know um, hmm. there are a few ways that I could try this the, the goal here is to move this into a position where it would force the electricity from the grates down. You'd have to, to have the grates still live for it to work. Now, the most obvious way that I can see to do this is to move this switch over by one and to replace these two tiles by electrics. That would allow the power to still be transferred. We could then even put a door here because you certainly don't need that many um, grates. Whoever's trying to... Well, actually, having said that, the grate is already there, so I may as well leave it there, I suppose. Um, though that said, what I could do... Yeah, I, I actually think having the door there is a better move. Now, I'm going to need this power to go all the way up because otherwise they could break this one uh, sorry, they could break this one and break this one without breaking the trap. By having it also connected there, they can break this one and it'll still work, but they still need to break one in order to get out. That will then allow me to uh, trap them. Uh, sorry, if they've broken both of those, then they've broken this part completely and won't be able to access the rest. So that actually works out. However, if they've got a saw, they can just exit through the back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce this wall. It's expensive to do this, but it's worth it in my opinion. And we'll reinforce that one as well. So there we go. We've spent a little bit of money, but we've increased the, the security of this part of the system. Now, one of the things that people were doing up here is they were just breaking one part of it, and that was breaking the whole thing. Now, the other thing I could do, for example, is have power running around there. Mm. I'm not sure I could really fix this bit, though, unless I had power also being transferred across. I could certainly try that. 
because that would uh, make these bits a little bit harder. So if I were to do this, there we go, that is now uh, fixed, and then have the power, ah, see, getting rid of those, those walls there, that's expensive. So what I could do instead is do it like this. There we are. It's a bit of a roundabout way of doing that, but it does work. Uh, we'll place this dauber there. And there we go. That that should allow everything to work. So we just transfer power across there and transfer power up as well. Now, this would allow me to set up a, a system over here, for example, these, these commitment um, gates over on, on this side, for example, there. Uh, or in fact, there, I could have uh, some sort of commitment gate there but uh, I'm, I'm happy with this as it is I could of course alternatively just put a power plant over there somewhere but I think this is probably still cheaper though actually having said that there's actually quite a lot there these are 80 this one is fine but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay that's actually much more expensive so what we'll do is we'll undo those bits get those back down there like so we'll just have that one powered from both sides this one if they've got the means to break it they've got the means to break it and that's fine it's just there to catch the people who don't for the most part but down here this is now significantly more lethal once that is set there's no easy way to break out because no matter what you do you either need to break through a wall or you need to break through two of these and thus break the system. Ideally, this is going to prevent most people from breaking out, because if they come in here with 1,200 pounds worth of explosives for this much money, well, for around about that much money, they, they're going to make a loss, so hopefully that will deter them. But this part worked well. He broke this, but it didn't break the rest of the system. That is exactly what I wanted. In fact, I'll uh, bring that down there as well. Uh, is everything else still okay down here? I believe it is. There we are. This looks perfect. Okay, or at least as perfect as it could be with the money that I've got. Now, I guess I should start thinking about how we're going to expand. Right now, I've only really got one extremely secure place to put my vault, and that's here. What I could do is move the vault... Well... Putting it up here, it's not going to have particularly strong defences. It'll only really catch people out who know what they're looking for. But if I was to expand this, then perhaps I could either through here, or maybe up here, this commitment trap up there, or perhaps just uh, include another commitment trap down here, to expand out to the area over on this side. There's not actually that much area out there. Let me just swap this. We're actually fairly close to filling this whole area now got a large sort of inverted L but I'm pretty happy with the the trap as it stands it has killed quite a lot of people some of them worth an awful lot of money I can't believe he just threw himself into the pit he could have just left at that stage and had he actually looked it would have all been open that that is a tip for you always check where you've already been because it, if well certainly if you're in a house that I've made it's probably going to require you to go somewhere where you've already been at least once. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's revalidate the system. Fingers crossed this doesn't kill me. Power is coming in from there and then power going out from there. Yeah, it should all be okay. So, let's uh, see. We'll open this up. Yeah, still okay. Open this up. Please don't kill me. Thank you very much. The lack of death is very much appreciated. And up we go. And back down. And out. Aha! Freedom! But I think I'm going to wrap this episode up there. We've got quite a lot of tapes seen. Quite a lot of uh, antics done and shenanigans done. Uh, let's check you out. Eric John Bays. Oh, I left all my tools in my vault. Bugger it. Well, we'll just have a look at this, and then I'll go back and get it. You, you killed my cat! And then my dog! You swine! Oh, you're doomed now. Oh, yes. Yes, you are doomed. Where did you go? Oh, dear. 
You tried to run, but you could. Oh, okay. Right, well, you used up all your clubs on my animals and then couldn't kill my children or my wife. You were close, though, and that worries me. That worries me a lot. You are now doomed. There is nowhere you can go. Well, you could go up there, actually. Or, oh, you chose poorly. You fool. You could see it was concrete as well if you actually paid at enough attention. But no, you're just going to kill yourself on one of my dogs. You deserve that. You're killing all of my dogs. Now I'm going to go back to my... Ah. Right. Well, I'm going to wrap this up there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll be joining me in the next. In between which, I will go to my house and pick up all of my loot. And I shall see you when next I record. But until then, do take care.